chance to meet with the Northwest uh, Energy Conference. Really talked about that ultimately our energy future is in our hands. We need to figure out ways to provide opportunity as we go forward. So that's good jobs and diverse energy future. I mean, I think the one thing that we all know for sure is the future is going to look different than what today is. And it's up to all of us, I think, to try to help sort of chart that future. Sure. Now, now Steve, one of the things I know is that uh, uh, forgive the analogy, but the coal train, <laughs> if you will, seems to be uh, heading out the station. And uh, I know a lot of folks are looking at it, yearning, wishing it could be like it was 20, 30 years ago, but it's not going to be. So when, when you look at that picture, that situation with coal, and I know you've been working very hard trying to, uh, trying to rectify the situation, but um, as you look to the future with uh, that sort of thing, what, what happens to the uh, the infrastructure that we have in Montana uh, that is so heavily uh, dependent sure. on coal. Sure. You know, I mean, I think coal will be part of our energy future. And we have 28% of our nation's coal reserves that not only can create some good jobs, but provides reliable, stable um, power generation. But we also have to be looking at you know, when I say the one thing that's certain is the future is going to look different than today. I mean, we have to take a look at the ways that we can innovate and better use it so it's less carbon intensive. I mean, I've been up to Saskatchewan where they have enhanced oil recovery coming in as a result of an existing coal plant where they're capturing the CO2 strength and then using that to get, you know, oil out of the ground. So certainly there's going to be changes and certainly we need to be looking at all the options because we also have, you know, some of the best wind potential. We have met with solar companies recently that are really looking at expanding the footprint in Montana. Um, looking at then all of the potential going forward, and I have no doubt the coal will continue to be a part of that energy future. Uh, I think that in some respects, I mean, there's been more technological changes in our phones in the last boy, six or seven years, and how we generated power um, using coal. So so there are going to be changes. We've had some discussions with the U.S. Department of Energy about that as well. As far as if change is going to occur, let's try to drive and see some of that happening right here in Montana. So there are, I think, some real, I mean, certainly challenges, but we have to try to view this as what are the opportunities going forward? And I think that there are incredible opportunities all over. And certainly, um, you know, opportunities like at the conference this morning in so many different areas of renewable energies. Gail Gucci, and I'm a candidate for Public Service Commission out of Missoula. Okay, now the reason, th this is the, the Clean Energy Conference here, sponsored by Northwestern Energy. What are you specifically here today for? I'm here to learn and to understand more about our clean energy future. Clearly, we are in a transition of energy. We are moving off of legacy resources into more renewable energy, including solar and wind and um, geothermal and we're also looking at of course energy conservation because the cheapest energy we have by far is the energy we never use and we can have energy conservation in two ways the utilities can actually conserve lots of energy and individual customers of those utilities can conserve energy so that's the talk this morning and it's been very interesting so far no it just seems like, I forgive the, the analogy, but it seems like the train is going faster and faster and faster away from coal and um, uh, trying to get ports so that they won't let them open ports in Washington State so there's nowhere to get the coal to the places, the people that, that really want to purchase it. So it seems like um, uh, the folks who are in that industry are finding themselves more and more on an island all to themselves. So uh, as if you are elected to the Public Service Commission, um, is there anything that you can do in your capacity as a commissioner to try to ameliorate that? So the PSC regulates utilities and we don't choose what their sources of electricity uh -huh. are. However, let me answer the first part of your question mm -hmm. first. Um, Coal strip one and two are quite aged, quite antique, and to retrofit them to today's um, clean energy standards is very expensive. In addition, 
that coal, that electricity, goes to Oregon and Washington. And those legislatures have already decided that they will not be purchasing um, electricity from coal power anymore. So that's not in our hands, but that is happening. And that's why I say we're in a transition. It's a transformation. Mm -hmm. So... Um, in, you know, coal is our second most expensive resource. It used to be that coal was really, really expensive, but now that the plants are so antiquated and it's more expensive um, to keep the upkeep, etc., coal is no longer really inexpensive. In Montana, it's our second most exp second most expensive resource. Um, wind comes in far less expensive, like per megawatt hour. $20 less per megawatt hour, and that's a considerable amount. So on the PSC, as you know, I served on the commission before, so we regulate utilities and we do require them to come in with cost-effective resources and to show to us how they're cost-effective and how the ratepayer, the customer, best benefits. So yes, we have that leverage over utilities, um, but coal and its transition, and you just heard somebody in there talking about it, it's a huge um, opportunity and it's a huge um, responsibility because we have workers who have worked in this industry a long, long time. We need to take care of those workers. We need to make sure that their pensions aren't lost. We need to make sure that if they want to be retrained in the clean energy future, that they have the first shot at those jobs. We need to make sure those jobs remain union. All of those, again, not in the purview of the PSC, but my own personal philosophy for sure. So um, it is a transition. We are in transition, but it, it hopefully will not be uh, painful. Hopefully it will be a transition that brings cleaner and leaner and less expensive energy to our economy at the same time that we